let's get right into it. How do you delete a measure? Select that measure, control, delete. Control, delete takes out the measure entirely. We had four measures, now we have three. Okay, if you want to delete the notes without deleting the measure, um, then you do just delete. Okay, now um, with the control delete, actually removing the measure, you can use either backspace or delete. With deleting the notes but keeping the measure, you have to use the delete button, not the backspace button. Um, the little one that says delete on it, that's what you have to use for that. Okay, but there's how you delete measures. Um, you probably came for that because the next part actually has a drop down menu that does it. So um, if you add measures, um, let's append. Okay, so appending a measure adds it at the end. Okay, regardless of, of the bar lines or anything, where your selection is, whatever, it adds an extra measure or however many measures you want um, if you append more than one measure. Append measures. Uh, it does it at the end, right? Okay, so uh, inserting a measure, let's let's add some notes so that you can kind of see what's going on here. So if we insert a measure, it's going to be a little different, obviously, <laughs> um, but it does it before the measure that you have selected, okay? Um, before your, your selection. And uh, obviously you can also insert multiple measures in there. So yeah, um, yeah, that, there's the title of questions answered. Um, there's a couple other things though that I thought I'd share. So uh, first of all, control and scroll. Control and scroll is super useful, you know, zooming in and out, um, just very useful. Um, and it's super basic, but just in case you didn't know, there you go, control and scroll. Um, now, uh, another thing is copying, pasting, copy, pasting. That's a little bit interesting. So um, again, let's fill in some notes. So this is a little easier to see what's going on. Ah, no, I didn't want that. Okay, so um, if we, let's say we copy these measures, okay? Because we like these measures. They're better than the rest of them. Um, if we paste them over here, they're going to overwrite, okay? So it takes your selection that you've copied, and it overwrites whatever was, was where you go after that, okay? So I, I then went to the beginning. It overwrites it, okay? Uh, whatever was there is gone now. Now, if you don't want it to overwrite, um, what you would need to do is you would need to, well, first of all, let's control Z that. You would need to uh, insert some measures. Okay, actually, I should have just inserted like two measures like that. But let's insert 23 measures because why not? Okay, and then you can, you know, put it in there or whatever. Okay, um, if you do it at the end, let's uh, shift click over here to select more. And then if we uh, do that, okay. As you can see, it made new measures. So it, it overwrites, even if it has to overwrite empty space, um, it will overwrite the emptiness to to uh, to do that. Okay, that's a weird way of saying it. But it, it'll make new measures as many as it needs to, uh, to complete the paste. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I had to say really for this. Um, this is not the main content of my channel, I should say that. This is not the main content of my channel at all. I make uh, like a lot of music theory videos. I've been doing that for a while now, uh, making videos about music theory and production sometimes, music theory and production. And uh, this is the first muse, muse score tutorial I've ever posted, but I just posted it because like the ones I found on this exact thing, because I, I just wanted to know how to delete a measure. And then it was like, Oh, let's talk for five minutes about all this random stuff, and then we'll tell you it's control delete. Like you could have told me that in the title, and I and I think I did put it in the title. At least I will now that I thought about that. Anyway, um, but that's yeah. Um, there's a lot of other stuff. If you've been paying attention to um to my Muse Score window here, you'll you'll see something, a little something, and um, that's maybe a foreshadowing of something that's coming on the channel soon. I don't know, um, but either way, you should stay tuned for sure. Um, so yeah, I've been posting some like performance-based videos kind of um, right blah, 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 recently, and um, those are like jazz piano improv kind of things. But there's uh, there's some there's some stuff coming. Again, if you're paying attention to the screen, you'll know kind of a a, a shadow of it because um, that's not the whole story. It's not that's not it. That's not it. What you're what you're seeing there, it's not it. Um, there's more, but, um, yeah, stay tuned and cool. <laughs> Hopefully this was useful for you. Bye.